Autodesk VaultMate, believe it or not, is Autodesk's one and only on-premise data management solution. Everything else they've got for data management, all that they've acquired, is actually cloud-based. No, 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 no. In all seriousness, there's a lot of reasons why a business might not want to operate within the cloud infrastructure, or in a lot of cases just absolutely cannot, but in the interests of this gag. But what is Autodesk Vault Basic and how does it work? Well, you're going to find out in roughly five minutes. That's what I'm, that's what I'm shooting for. Did I make, did I make five minutes? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not even, there's, a, there's literally a wall there. I don't know who I'm talking to. But before I get started, thank you very much to everyone so far who's used my store links to help support the channel in the description down below. If you want to see a video like this for each of Autodesk programs, please do consider using my store referral links in the description for your next Autodesk license purchase or renewal. So, Vault Basic. It's the first of three in the Autodesk Vault family of products. It's, and it's often referred to as the free version of Vault because you don't need to pay extra for a license. But don't be fooled. You only actually get access to Vault Basic if you've already bought or subscribed to something like AutoCAD or a collection. So the cost of Vault Basic is essentially already paid for in that existing license. And then you're only allowed to put Vault Basic onto a PC with said AutoCAD collection or Autodesk license on it. So it's far from free to all. Now, Vault Basic, it's actually far from basic, mate. It's a client server-based data management solution, primarily for Autodesk software-generated CAD files, such as AutoCAD drawings or inventor models. But in order to understand what Vault Basic does, we need to understand why it exists. So in any collaborative drawing office where you've got multiple people working on a single design over time, you tend to work off of a mapped drive network style storage system. That's how things were before Vault existed. And when you do that, you get issues. Like for example, multiple people trying to work on the same file at the same time without knowing about it. Someone then changing something when maybe they shouldn't have. Vault Basic solves all of these things and more. So at a high level, Vault Basic comes in two parts. You've got the client side and then you've got the server side. Now the server application, after it's been installed, is known as the Autodesk Data Management Server, or the ADMS. And this can be installed onto any supported Windows operating system on the desktop or a server. And the ADMS it doesn't work alone though. It needs Microsoft's SQL Server, which is a database engine. But Autodesk do provide a free version of this called SQL Express inside the ADMS media, which installs automatically alongside ADMS if you just want to use the free version. So SQL, it's a database engine and it stores the information about the CAD files known as metadata, and that's indexed for fast searching for files. But the next big ADMS plugin, if you like, is Microsoft's IIS or Internet Information Services. And this is the platform used for communication traffic between the ADMS and the end users. Once all that's installed, the Vault admin creates the Vault, gets it all set up, and then we're ready to look at the client side. The client side, it's a very dated looking application. It's originally based on a near 20 year old Outlook 2003 interface, would you believe? And it hasn't been updated since, other than a few icon refreshes and a bit of a touch up. And it was originally based on that interface because apparently back then, that was very familiar for a lot of people to get them used to Vault. But I'm not sure how many people are used to Outlook 2003 in 2022. But once Vault Basic Client has been installed as the first point of call, you typically log in with the Vault Administrator account. That's an account held locally within the Vault system. Nothing to do with the Windows logins with Vault Basic. But then you begin the process of importing all of your data into Vault, usually using the auto loader with Vault Basic. But this isn't a setup guide. Can't do that in five minutes, mate. So with Vault Basic, the part you tend to interact with the most is the integrated CAD application plugins. These are the in-CAD ribbon bars and panels that let you send data directly back and forth to a Vault using a check-in and check-out kind of feature, as well as being able to see the status of the data, like if anyone else in the office has got a part checked out that you've got open, and if the copy that you've got in your data set is possibly out of date because somebody else in the office might have updated it. And it used, just that using little icons, little colorful symbols that you eventually do get used to, but look a bit strange on day one. But Vault Basic stops short of offering any kind of revision control or change management that's provided in the paid versions of Vault. But what you do get though is file version tracking. Basically, every time you take a file out of the vault, change it, put it back in, it goes up one version. And you can see all of the previous versions of any file in the vault client, as well as restore or roll back to a previous version at any point you want. You've also got access to a powerful tool called Copy Design to duplicate your designs whilst having full control over the interconnected CAD file relationships. You're like, let's create a new product. 
but choose which parts are reused, copied, or replaced in the new design. It also lets you rename files and fixes any parent relationships that the file might be used within. But by far, one of the most beneficial day-to-day -day features that Vault brings to the table is its searching capabilities, leveraging that aforementioned SQL integration. So everything checked into the Vault is automatically indexed into SQL for lightning fast searching. You can search through hundreds of gigabytes worth of design data in a mere split second. But what you have to bear in mind is if you are using that free SQL Express provided by Autodesk, there is a 10 gigabyte database size limit. That's not how many design files you're allowed to have in the vault. That's just how much metadata you can generate. So that's a whistle stop tour of Vault Basic. It's an exceptionally powerful tool, but stops just about short enough to make the jump up to the paid versions of Vault that the work group or professional and noticeably worthwhile and a meaningful investment. So thanks for watching. If you're in the market for an Autodesk license, please do consider using my referral links in the description to help support the channel for more videos like this. Hope you found this useful. Stay tuned for the Vault Work Group Professional versions of this video coming soon and I'll catch you later. Doodles!